Hi, everybody. Fix my computer, sorry. Hey there, my name is Coach. I'm going to be your coach today for our Tiny Tots virtual class. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you're doing well during these really different times we find ourselves in. Uh, I've missed you. I don't know if you are in my Tiny Tots class on Tuesday or if you come a different day of the week, but uh, all of the coaches here at Metro South, I say here, I'm in my house, uh, but all of the coaches at the gym miss you guys. We love seeing you, and hopefully we'll get to see you guys soon. But for now, uh, we get to do gymnastics through a computer, or maybe you're using a TV, um, but through YouTube here. So once again, my name is Coach Scott. Uh, I work at Metro Self Gymnastics. Today we're going to be doing some yoga. We're going to work on our forward rolls, and we're going to do a lot of other fun stuff together too. But before we get started... I want to just cover a couple of important things for our class, our time together today. I want to make sure that wherever you are, wherever you're going to be doing class today, that you have plenty of space around you, all right? So that way when we do our forward rolls, we can make sure we're not going to roll into anything and hurt our feet or maybe bang our knees. So make sure you have plenty of space. Um, if you have a nice um, soft surface. I have a panel mat here. I know not everyone has a panel mat in their house, uh, but if you have one of those, definitely use those for our times together. Um, you can also potentially use um, cushions from a couch. Uh, if you have uh, uh, just a room with carpet, that would be far better than a room that's hardwood floor. Uh, but as much as possible, try to find a place to do class that has a soft surface. So I want to make sure you have space, a good surface. And then lastly, uh, I want to make sure you are doing things that you feel good about doing. So mom, dad, um, aunt, uncle, older brother or older sister, if you were uh, doing the class with your younger brother or sister today, I want to make sure that you do what you're comfortable doing. So if, I am, if I'm asking you to do something, you're like, ah, I'm not sure I know how to do that yet. Um, that's okay. We're all learning, okay, and we'll all get there. So we want to just make sure that you do what you feel good about doing. Uh, and if you've been doing classes with us, forward rolls should be pretty familiar. It's a good way for us to start our, our time together through virtual classes. Uh, but make sure you do things that are comfortable for you. But today we're going to get started with our warm-up. So if you want to um, step up onto your feet, if you're not already on your feet, I'm going to get our warm-up ready here. We're going to do some different animal, um, animal movements to get ourselves ready to go here today. So first, we're going to do some frog jumps, okay? So feel free to make some animal noises at home if you know what the animal noise is for the one that we're doing. We're going to start with frogs, and on the count of three, can everybody tell me the noise that a frog makes? One. Okay, we'll hold on. Two. Three. Moo! Did I get, did I get it wrong? Oh, that's right. Ribbit. So a frog ribbits, okay? So we want to get yourself in your frog position. So you're down, feet are on the ground, you're, you're in a squat, have your hands beside you. We're going to do 10 frog jumps. Ready? Go. Ribbit. Ribbit. That's two. Ribbit. Three. Feel free to jump around the room. Four. Ribbit. Five. Six. Seven. Ribbit. Eight, nine, ten. All right. After our frog jumps, we're going to do a bear walk. So for our bear walk, you want to have straight arms, and you want to have pretty straight legs. Your feet are flat, and we're going to walk around like a bear. And on the count of three, what noise does a bear make? One, two, three. Roar. It's kind of like a lion, right? I haven't quite mastered the bear noise yet. We're walking around like bears, though, to warm ourselves up. Some bears are waking up from hibernating. All right. Next, we're going to do our gorilla shuffle. So what makes the gorilla shuffle different from the bear is you're going to be a little bit lower to the ground, 
You can make fists rather than having hands out. Fists, fists down. You're kind of in that squat. And we're going to shuffle around. Watch. Take your hands, put them in front. You're going to lift to bring your feet in between your hands. If I knew how to do a distinct gorilla noise, I'd do it, but I don't know exactly what they say. Moving around, getting ourselves ready for class today. The gorilla shuffle. All right? From there, we're going to do starfish jumps. Okay. So we're going to start here. We're going to go starfish, back, starfish, back, starfish, back. What about a spinning starfish? There. After our starfish, we're going to do a cheetah run. A cheetah is a wild cat that you would find, I believe, in Africa. So we're going to run as fast as we can. Whew. All right. We're getting warmed up. We've done our cheetah run. Now we're going to do our crab crawl. So you want to sit down. Hands are going to be behind you. Feet flat on the floor. You're going to lift up, and we're going to walk side to side. Because this is how crabs walk. They walk side to side. And keep going. And back again. And lastly, we're going to do our elephant stomps. Mom, Dad, if you have anything that's on the wall that might fall, you want to tell your child to do soft elephant stomps. Right? If there's nothing you're worried about, kiddo, you can let loose. All right, so we're gonna go stop, stop, stop. That's a really fast elephant though. So it should be. Elephant stops. All right, and we're gonna go into our stretch. So if you wanna sit down on the floor, Legs out wide. How old are you? 32. All right. We'll go with yours. You're four, right? So we're going to put our arms up. Four claps. One, two, three, and four. That's right. And reach for one side. Try to keep your legs straight. You don't want your knees up. You want them flat on the ground. Reaching for your foot. Good. Arms up. Three big claps. Go one, two, Three, reach for your other foot. Once again, knee flat, straight leg. You can point your toe. Awesome. Two big claps go. One, two, reach for the middle. Excellent. Arms up, one big clap. Shake your legs out to the middle. Shake, shake, shake. Shaking your legs, shake your arms. And let's add in our heads. And shake your whole body. Stop. Did you listen? I hope you did. Now we're in our pike position. Our legs are straight. They're together. They're flat in front of us. We're going to flex our toes. So you might not be able to see my toes that well. There we go. This is flexed. What is this? What is this again? Point. Good. So this is point. We want to flex our toes. We're going to touch our toes four times. Arms up. Make sure you go all the way down and then all the way back up. Okay. So let's try it. Ready? Go one, all the way up. Two, all the way up. Three, four. Good job. From there, we're going to lift the leg and we're going to draw a picture. Looks like the sun's coming out, so I'm going to draw a picture of the sun. Nice circle with some lines coming off. Maybe a cloud and a bird. I'm just rolling out our ankle, drawing a picture. All right, and bring that knee in, give it a squeeze. Oh, and a kiss. And how about your other leg? Draw another picture. I'm going to draw a starry night by Van Gogh. Don't know what that is, you should look it up. It's beautiful. 
All right, and then we're gonna bring our knee in, give it a squeeze. All right, and a kiss. And then we're gonna do a butterfly. You're gonna bring your feet together. You can hold your feet together. And we're gonna flap our wings. Where do you guys wanna to fly to? All right, that sounds nice. Anyone else? Somewhere you wanna to fly to? How about the backyard? Since we're all supposed to stay home. All right, flapping our wings. Good. Now we're gonna crisscross applesauce, arms out wide, one big clap. Roll your wrists. Shake them. Shake them high. Shake them low. Oh, low. Shake them behind you. Shake them in front. Shake one up high and one down low. Switch. 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 Out to the sides. All right, guys. I think we're pretty warmed up. Now, why don't we do a table? If you can do a table, this is how you're going to... If you don't know how to do a table, this is how you're going to do it. You're going to have feet flat on the floor. You're going to take your arms. You're going to put them behind you. Hands are flat on the ground. And you're going to push to bring your belly up. So you can have a nice flat table you can have lunch on. And then you're going to come back down. Now, if you want to challenge yourself with your table, you can try to keep your feet together on the floor and then have your pinkies of your hands touch behind you. And you can push up into your table, try to get that belly up. And come back down. Now we're gonna grab our knees and we're gonna rock and roll three times, right? You're gonna rock, roll, rock, and roll. Rock, and roll forward. All right, everybody, good. Let's see where we are for time. Good. All right. Now, mom or dad, if you're watching, uh, hopefully you got my email yesterday. If you didn't, that's okay. Um, I did send a few, and I apologize for that. I know um, it's not the greatest to get a flooded inbox, but I had a bunch of different things I wanted to get out before the end of the month. This week, for our class, we're going to be doing teddy bear yoga. Um, so uh, if you uh, didn't see my email and haven't grabbed the teddy bear, if you could maybe quickly go grab one from your child's bedroom or wherever you keep your teddy bears. If, if you have one that you're going to lend them, maybe you know, your, your bedroom, your reading room, wherever your teddy bear might be, uh, you want to go grab one. One that has movable arms and legs that's not stuck in a sit sitting position. You want them to be able to move around. Um, this is my son's teddy bear, I promise. And uh, he let me borrow it for class today. We're going to do some teddy bear yoga. So uh, while mom or dad is grabbing your teddy bear and you're getting ready for that, if you want to get a drink of water real quick, this is our one water break today. Get a quick sip. All right. Hopefully by now you have your teddy bear. If you don't, don't worry about it. We're going to do teddy bear yoga again on Thursday with Coach Caitlin. So I'm going to set my teddy bear down because we're going to start by learning the positions ourselves. And then when we know what we're doing, that's when we can teach somebody else what a teddy will do. Mr. Teddy Bear. So first position is gonna be bumblebee breath. So for this, you wanna be on your knees and you're going to take a deep breath and you're gonna make a humming noise with your lips. You're gonna go Now, for this though, it's bumblebee breath. You want it to be very soft, very calm, very gentle. So you have like a little bee that's just buzzing around. So ready, let's try that again. We're gonna do a deep breath. And we're gonna make our buzzing sound. Very soft, gentle bee. Are you still going? Wow, good for you. Now we're going to grab our teddy bear. And I'm going to hold mine so you can see my teddy bear better. And he's going to do the bumblebee breath. So you want to tell your teddy bear, be on your knees. And you're going to take a deep breath. And then we're going to make a buzzing sound. You might need to help your teddy with the buzzing sound. Good. 
you want to move here today, get around like Bumblebee, you can do that. All right. So we worked on our breath. Now we're going to go to our next position for our yoga today. This one is going to be called Gorilla. All right. So you want to start by being a flexible gorilla. You're going to squat with your knees open. So you don't want your knees together with this. You want your knees open. And you're going to put your arms straight, touching the ground in between. So we're nice and flexible. From here, what we're going to do is we're going to push up, have our arms on our on our legs. We're a big, strong gorilla. From here, we're going to push up higher. You might need to have your knees apart more. We're still on our toes. We're going to hang long with our arms. And we're going to swing loose over to the left and over to the right. Over to the left. Over to the right. Feel free to make a gorilla sound while we're doing it. Over to the left. And over to the right. All right. You want to have your teddy bear do that? You can get your teddy bear into the squat. My teddy's arms are kind of short, so this will be interesting. We got our, our feet flat on the ground, reaching down. We're going to pop up, have our knee, our our teddy bear arms on our on his legs. Then he's going to stand up taller on his toes. He's going to hang low, and he's going to he's going to swing to the right, and he's going to swing to the left. Swing to the right and swing to the left. Pretty good, Teddy. Good, good. Teddy Bear. All right. The next position we're going to do today together is called Shark. So for this one, you're going to want to start by laying down on your stomach, okay? Hopefully you can see me fine. Looks like you can. So we're going to lay down nice and long, sleek, with our arms in front of our head, coming around like this. Then... We're going to lift our arms up and put them on our back. We're going to bring our hands together and rest them on our back. And our head is looking down at the ground, working on our shark. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to roll our shoulders back. So we're going to go like this. Watch that again so they're here. We're going to roll them back. And we're going to lift our hands and feet and chest off the ground. Now, if you want to be a fierce shark, ready? You can do that again. We go even higher in your swimming. Fish are friends, not food. Okay? And come back down. And let's do it one more time. Ready? Shark. And come back down. All right. You quickly do that with Teddy. You would lay Teddy on the ground. You bring Teddy's arms up onto his back. Try to bring those. Hands together for teddy bear. No, hold them up like this so you can see. And then he's gonna lift up, lift his legs up. <laughs> and he's in a shark position and he's swimming around like a shark. All right, approval, Teddy? Awesome. So that's our shark. And then we'll do one more together today. It's gonna be called tree, okay? For this one, you're gonna wanna stand up nice and tall. Arms are by your side, your feet are together, your knees are together. Now from here, we're gonna lift one foot up and we're gonna bring our hands together like this. So our arms are parallel to the ground, okay? So we're balancing on one foot. For some, this could be tricky. Then we're gonna bring our arms out. See me, I'm wobbling a little bit. Try to find your balance. And then you're gonna bring your hands together up over you for the tree. Why don't we try with our other leg? There you go. You find your balance. Good. All right, and we're gonna go arms and out. Ooh. I'm like a tree in the wind right now. All right, and you bring your arms together, and it's tree. Nice, strong tree, stable, balancing. And come back down together. Good work. I'm going to let you show your stuffed animal, Teddy, how to do tree later on, because I want to make sure we get to our skill of the week today, and that forward rolls, all right? So for our forward rolls, we're first going to start by doing a little bit of a rock and roll together, okay? So make sure you have your space, you're ready to do 
your rolls, okay? So we're going to go down into a squat position like we're doing with Gorilla, okay? So I'll show you here first. You're gonna squat down like this, all right? And you can put your hands on your knees, okay? So we're not gonna do our forward roll yet. This is a, a rock and roll, but I wanna see if you can rock and roll to your feet, okay? If you need to use your hands to stand back up, that's okay. But I wanna see if you can rock and roll to your feet. So ready, watch. I'm gonna go sideways so you can see what I'm going to do. I have plenty of space so I'm safe. I'm gonna hold my knees and I'm gonna rock back. I'm gonna roll forward onto my feet, okay? Why don't you try that at home with me, okay? So watch together. We're gonna go down into our squat. We're gonna grab our knees and we're gonna rock back. And we're gonna roll forward. That time I used my hands to help me get up. And if you need to use your hands, that's all right, okay? We all start learning how to do our rock and roll somewhere. If so, if you need your hands to help to push you up, that's okay. Let's try it again. We're gonna pop down into our squat. We're gonna hold our knees. We're gonna rock back. And we're gonna roll forward. Nice, I did it. High five to you, ready? One, two, three. Don't actually hit the screen though, all right? Let's try that one more time. High five. One, two, three. Good work. Why don't you try two more rock and rolls? Ready? I'll do them with you. We're going to go down to our squat. Try not to use your hands to stand up. You're going to rock back. You're going to roll forward up onto your feet. Arms up to finish. So I'm a little bit tall. When you finish, you should be on your feet and your arms go up like this, okay? Let's do one more. Hold your legs. You're gonna rock back, you're gonna roll forward, finish. Okay, good job everybody. Now, we're gonna do our skill of the week, which is forward rolls, okay? So for this, I want you to start by making sure, again, plenty of space, ready to do your forward roll. You're not gonna rock into anything, okay? From here, I want you to reach up high, and then you're gonna come down and touch your toes, okay? This position should seem familiar. We were just doing it with our rock and rolls when we rocked backwards and rolled forward. This time, we're going to do a forward roll, okay? Rather than going back, we're gonna roll forwards. So let's start over. Standing up. All right. We're gonna reach up high. We're gonna to touch our toes, come down. Now, the next thing is we're gonna tuck our head to look for our belly button, all right? So you're gonna tuck your head down to look for your belly button, okay? Once you tuck your head to, to look for your belly button, that's when we get ready to roll, okay? And we're gonna roll forward, all right? When we're doing our rolls, we wanna try to keep our knees together and our feet together, okay? So when we go down, our knees are together like this, and when we do our rolls, our feet stay together, okay? We don't wanna kick into our forward rolls. So you do not want to go like this, tuck and kick one leg up to roll. You want both of your feet to come at the same time, okay? So watch, when we're doing that forward roll, we're gonna to touch our toes, come down. You can have your hands on the ground, that's fine. Your knees are together, all right? We're not like this, our knees are together. We're gonna tuck our heads and we're gonna roll forward, okay? So let's try that again. We're gonna come down, we're gonna bring our knees together, tuck, roll, all right? If you wanna make your forward roll the very best that it can be, you wanna make sure that when you come down, you've got your knees together, your feet are together, you tuck your head so that the back of your head, if anything, touches the ground, okay? And then you wanna stand up without using your hands. So ready, watch. I'm in my forward roll position. Oops, sorry, Teddy. I'm in the forward roll position. I'm gonna tuck my head, my feet are together, my knees together, and I'm gonna stand without using my hands. I'm gonna roll, finish, okay? I'll show you again, and then you can practice as many times as you want today, all right? I'm gonna reach up high, I'm gonna touch your toes, come down, knees together, feet together, tuck my head, and then roll, finish, 
All right. So one more time for that forward roll. When you're ready to do your roll, you're going to reach up high. You're going to come down, touch your toes. Your knees are together. Your feet are together in the back. You tuck your head to look for your belly button. Tuck. And then you're going to roll forward, and both of your feet are going to, are going to come together in your roll. So ready? We tuck, and we roll. Stand. Try to stand without using your hands. If you need to use your hands to get up, that's okay. You can keep working on that forward roll, and at some point soon, you're going to be able to stand up without using those hands, all right? But for now, use those hands if you need to in order to get off the ground. So that's our skill of the day, our skill of the week, rather. We're going to do forward rolls again on Thursday with Coach Caitlin. And you're also going to do a little more of teddy bear yoga. So if you weren't able to bring your or mom and dad's teddy bear, I mean, no one needs to know if it's theirs. It can be our secret, okay? Uh, if you brought a teddy bear, you're going to do some teddy bear yoga again on Thursday with Coach Caitlin. You're going to work on your forward rolls a little bit more. But in the meanwhile, one thing that you can do if you're participating in the full virtual class uh, program that we're offering here for Tiny Thoughts. Parent, if you uh, want to take a video of your child doing their forward roll and then submit it via email, make sure you include their name in the subject line so we know who it is first and last. If you want to email skilltrack at metrosouthgymnastics.com, if you want to email the video of them doing their forward roll to skilltrack at metrosouthgymnastics.com. One of our coaches is going to be looking into that email throughout the week to watch these videos and provide a rating in the Metro Self Gymnastics Academy app and also some feedback, things that your child is doing well in their forward roll, something they can work on to make their forward roll even better so that, that way they can get the full five stars. Uh, we would be providing that information for you in the MSGA app. And if that's new to you, uh, you want to go into the App Store, and you can look. You can search for lowercase i, capital C, P, app. So lowercase i, capital C, P, app. And then you should see as one of the top selections the iClass Pro app. You download that. It's going to ask you to enter the organizational name, and that name is Metro Self Gymnastics. That's all one word, Metro Self Gymnastics. Then you're going to be asked to log in with your email that we have on file and the password that you use to log into the parent portal. Now, if you've never logged into the parent portal before and don't know what uh, password your password is or have never made one, feel free to email the info at metrosouthgymnastics.com email, and we can get you set up so that way you're not creating a duplicate account. All right, You want to make sure you're using the one account that you have that your child's enrollment is on. So... Once again, you would log in using your email and the password that you used when creating your account. Unless, of course, you need our help in resetting it. Just shoot us an email. We'll be happy to help you with that. So once again, Skill of the Week is four roles. Email your video of your four role to skilltrack at metroselfgymnastics.com. Our coaches will provide that feedback for you. Thank you so much for coming today. I hope you had a lot of fun. I know I did working on our four roles. I think my four role is coming along swimmingly, and I hope yours is too. Make sure to keep those knees together, feet together, tuck that head, roll to stand without using your hands if you can, all right? And until next time, which would be this Thursday, 1030 with Coach Caitlin, have a wonderful Tuesday and a great week. Take care.